everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. The new debut of JP after the Hollow Justice thing, it's very much a coincidence. I think it may be more than a coincidence. It may be that they panicked and they pushed it up ahead. We don't know. Nidhi Sanji new face, the first stream schedule for their stuff that, you know, they're going to be debuting them. It is, it is what it is. They're trying to do something when it comes to this, because I think they're really on honestly pack panicking when it comes to everything. They are, uh, don't worry, sure, nothing could go wrong with a combination of four magic looking girls and a cute creature. Oh, dear Lordy. Yeah, it could be um, like it's the, the, the Madoka Magica. Of course, nothing goes wrong there. New mascot has, I put 15 Benadryl in your smoothie. Look in its eyes. Oh, goodness. Yes, it does. Uh, wait, they debuted a new wave again. New JP wave. Their newest was three, already three months old, so they needed new blood in there. Can't deny I actually love their design. Sadly, it's only Niji. Kind of funny how their furry looks like a certain Sanrio character. Sanrio character looks like this one, like the middle one, you know. So it is what it is. But let's take a look and see about the uh, Niji JP, the actual thing that they have out here. This is the announcement that they're having. One. Holy crap, it's just basic. Some basic music in the background and just not even not even their characters moving. Just very basic in the way that they're doing this thing. Holy crap. And the Sandero looking character, yes. Loon Loon. 622 Saturday? Yeah, they're pretty much doing this like as a direct competition it seems like it just seems like way 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 too to cut yeah, like this popping out right on this time yeah i don't think that's gonna here's all the characters kisara kozo emone i mean the, their designs are cute but it's just too much of a coincidence for it to not be planned you know what i mean it is too much of a coincidence in my opinion for these things not to be planned and of course they have other things happening here you know they, they have um the actual talents are trying to drum up some some support which is normal. It's absolutely acceptable. I don't have anything wrong with that. Of course, they're going to be doing that uh, because, well, Niji Sanji's not going to do that for them, so they have to do it for themselves. Here we go with the new gen. A little bit more information from what I had before. Just giving you guys a little bit more information. Their new song is called Xiao Xiao Lan Lan or Xiao Xiao Lang Lan. Uh, talk about no Fs given, the lambs to the slaughter. Their target is a Chinese now. They must be aware of how saturated JP market is at least. Too bad they threw away the EN market, but then they threw away an ID market as well. So no surprises there. What else can they do if EN is abandoned already? How long until they burn away goodwill on JP side as well? I'm sure it'll go about as well for them as it did for Hololive. Starting to think they're growing them in tubes or something. There's no way they can keep printing out these gens like that with how bad a reputation they have. Of course they can. They're just going to do it as much as they can. Deep pockets can do whatever they want. I'm going to be honest here. The JP side doesn't care what happens or what drama is going on in EN. Most people are focused on themselves. They'll be the judge of what is good or bad in their own eyes. Why is it flared as meme fluff? I don't know. Uh, what, what does this person say? I couldn't find discussion how to use the flare. Uh, live news. They're not going to last considering the fact that they're a new GEN wave already in turmoil. Man, I hate any cutter, but I hope they handle this careful enough so it won't end like Hollow CN. I hope for the sake of the actual livers, the actual VTubers, the actual people doing it, they don't end up like Hollow CN. That was a lot of harassment a lot of mistreatment, a lot of bad stuff. I do not want them to continue on that path because that is never a fun or good path. A continuation on what we saw before, which giving you more, a little bit more of um, like background on each of the characters, each of the people and their X accounts, their um, everything that's going on. They're doing, they're staggering it. It looks like every, every 30 minutes, which is, I don't know about that one. We already watched this one before, I believe. Yeah, we watched this one before already. So that's then their official channel. Here's Shigariko, her actual Twitter. We're going to the, the YouTube channel, which right now has 7.5k subscribers. It's really low for someone that's gonna be, you know, debuting so quickly. If you look, if you remember, we showed um, or at least at some point I'm gonna show the uh hollow uh EN, 
already has over 40k and here we have you know uh tamano already has 21.2k followers on their uh their thing right here of course they're you know trying to announce themselves because the Sandy doesn't do it for them here we have them 7.81k subscribers over here 21.6k followers so they have a lot of followers on twitter this is kisara over here 7.69k subscribers kozue mono mone kozue mone has the uh very cute i mean they have good good designs and you know they're, they're showing marshmallows they're showing everything like that and here's the 7.39 and uh you know basically them again and here's the animal of the of them all the mascot of them all of loon loon and their stuff has 8.38k subscribers so everything's going to be staggered every 30 minutes it's again not going to get the support that they deserve because that's just the way it works with Nidhi Sanji. You just don't get the support you deserve. You are pretty much have to deal with it yourself for the most part, which sucks because like seriously, they should at least try to support the talents. And down here it says, yes, classic Nidhi response to holiday debut, accelerate. Doubt it. These things will come as daily preps. I mean, it's just a weird coincidence. If it is, if it is just a coincidence, it's a weird one. If it isn't, then what? Well, it's just very strange that they did it the same days. The last JP gen was like, what, three months ago? Don't know, man. They're kind of like panicking or something. It seems like they're panicking. It seems like they're trying to accelerate the, uh, you know, putting stuff out there. I'm sure it's been in works for a while, but still the contrast between this announcement and the Q&A from mere days ago, it's kind of funny to me. Yeah, it seems like they're really trying to accelerate some stuff. Um, I mean, it's up to them. I don't think it's going to work, but I mean, if you want to accelerate, you can accelerate as much as you want. You can accelerate and do what you, whatever the heck you want. It is up to you. It is up to them. They're the ones who have the, uh, the know-how, I guess. Nidhi Sanji here trying to make a new hashtag to try to get their VTubers more support or more, at least more views. They're trying something, but I'm pretty sure this is probably a, an intern trying it. Looks like they're trying an engagement thing again. This time with Maya Niji e, and Oshi. Predictably, most of the posts so far are Vox, but I did see someone go to Lendoki. I uh, wonder how long before this one is fully hijacked like their previous attempts. While I would admit, I would love to do a Zion one just for S and giggles. I wouldn't advise people here piling on and brigading though. The, the tag though because that just makes uh it delegitimizes any kind of critiques that happen because then you're just seen as a niji hater you're just seen as a niji harasser you know that type of thing to the mods anyone who picks it i only use twitter flare because it's twitter related but now adding just an overview of the first couple of the tags just below second edit just a thought but considering the new hollow gen dropped it's make me wonder if this is their campaign against it probably is here's what's there my niji and oshi was a pleasure to meet all three of them they're my favorite oshi chemistry between them was a pleasure to watch and look forward to accompanying them on the rest of their journey uh yeah basically all these people of vox as well my own name watching me shoujo and indies starting my own journey drop the jazz on the clock release and dms slowly watch clips of niji in general but then the one red white uh two white bruh uh basically vox again being one of the uh the niji e and oshis i guess says there's no woman scrolling through aside from selen there were a few enas Ilira. One with Vivi, but yes, the majority of them are males. Just a thought, but considering new Hollow drops, it's probably most certainly is them trying to get something from the Hollow EN, trying to get some kind of engagement baiting from Hollow EN, probably. Another peaceful day in Riku's office. Intern Kun, my my load, the Hollow, my lord, the Hollow uh, have released their EN. Damn you, Yago, and I know released the Fujos. As much as I love the idea of Selene and Zion taking over that tag, let's just not. All that will do is dragging their tired butts back into the a limelight. Of niji anything and then they might get more harassment so that's best not to not to mess with those type of things it's messing with fire and these people the people who harassed them in the beginning harassed doki and selen uh doki and uh zion i mean they are not the type of people to give up and they just you know will cause more issues and they will go into the victimhood as a lot of people do if this is the response to Halloween and Zoo wave 100 this is the response because it's not a coincidence that they decided to do this right after I must com commend them because they've at least another cringe uh, way of doing something. But yeah, it's just, it's absolutely trying to grab on or at least do something against the wave that's popping on in Hollow EN. But in a bit, let's take a look at what my Niji and Oshi is actually showing here. There are some people that are popping up with Selen Tatsuki, Fly, Fly High Freebird. Some talking about Pomu. When Lazuli were debuting, Pomu had something that just drew me in. That's very nice. Some people, Vox, if it's their Oshi, it's their Oshi. I'm not going to knock them for it. Uh, continue to be Kotsuka Torahime. I miss this bright ball of energy, her hilarious antics, her streams. She made some mistakes as well. This person has, um, also here, the novelist from Sweden. I don't watch him a lot, but he's cool. You have another person, which is, uh, Mr. Rias. Look, is that Mr.? Yeah, I think it's Mr. Isn't it Mr.? I think it is. Mr. Ryan. Yes, it's Mr. Rias. Had to make sure. Some have Finana. Others have Alira. Say what you will, but I mean, if it's their Oshi, I'm fine with that. Others have Twisty. Um, basically debut. 
other people have, you know, Shadow Curtain stuff. It wasn't for my Oshi. That's the thing. If it brings confidence to you, brings that kind of stuff, I'm all for it. it just let let people be who they're going to be. Don't be assholes to them. People rose me, of course. More Elira, more Anna, all the four girls. Uh, you know, some uh, some some bigger ones right here. Um, you have Ike again. You have you know other people popping in here, and of course, let them enjoy what they're going to enjoy. I don't enjoy any of them, but I let them enjoy whatever the heck they want. You know what I mean? A little bit deeper dive into each one of them and the lore that they have behind them. We have them here. Elizabeth uh, Rose Bloodflame, a Scarlet Queen. April 25th is her birthday. Great Exardia. First stream, 621.20 PDT. So it's on the day before my birthday. Uh, first stream for uh, Gigi Moodin, the Chaser. October 18th, Frisia. Born and raised in the flag of freedom. It's free spirited. Free spirited Chaser. First stream, this, uh, right after 2045. 2045 PDT on the other days. So they're, they're only having two per day. Looks like they're having two per day. So they're having over here, uh, Cecilia Immergreen. Immergreen, yeah. Immergreen, the ancient automaton. November 11th, Immerheim. Ancient automaton, uh, pension for flowers, tea and creating music. First stream at 8 p.m. on my birthday. PDT. Aurora Panthera is artist with God Eyes. May 11th, Romance Empire. 845 PDT on my birthday again. All the cute pictures of each one of them on the side. They're doing like a little picture roll. Looking very cute. Very nice. You know, them just in looking, you know, showing some of their personality. The flame looks like it brings out music as well for uh for Elizabeth. So that's also very fun. It's very fun to see. Very cute and very fun to see. This, from what I can just tell, is probably an AI voice. Either an AI voice or clipped voices like of Mume. Say, making her say things that she absolutely will not say. She actually would never say. So let's take a look. If you die, I think I should kill you. Yeah. I'm thinking about it a lot. Yes. I do want you to die. Yeah. It's probably Minecraft. I don't really care if it's painful or not. I just don't want you to exist anymore. So yeah, this is, this is kind of like <clears throat> saying that about um, the, uh, the situation about here in uh, Doki Bird or any of these kind of people trying to say those things. It's like, it isn't a joke. It isn't satirical. It's it's still not, it's not cool. I don't like this. It's not cool. You don't say these things. You don't make other VTubers say these things. You don't use other VTubers words to spread hate around there. This is not what you do. Like in general, this was a bad take. I didn't like this part of the, the whole uh, thing. I mean, it's satire. It's whatever it is. You know, it's using their actual outfits. It's whatever it is. But you know, I don't think Doki Bird would appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. But I don't think Doki Bird would either appreciate this, nor would Mume. But, you know, people are going to make their satire anyway. They're going to make it. And um, say, so what the F are you on about? I don't know what this guy's on about. It's kind of like a schizo post. But still not fun to hear Mume saying those things and being treated in that way. Like, being used and being weaponized in that way. It's not funny. I don't I don't find it funny, at least. Now on to a little bit of more uh, small corpo VTuber. I was going to say indie, but Pip Pippa's not an indie at all. We have Pippa and VTuber poaching. Let's see what she actually has to say. Before then, I, I am going to go into the um, the comments, but first we're going to see what she has to say. Okay, I probably shouldn't say this. I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm going to be I'm going to be a leaky faucet chat. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, another company, another company. I will not ever say which company, but another company reached out to me. Let's say they found my personal contact somehow, and they reached out to me. This other company, and they were like, they're like messaging me. Uh, asking to hire me, right? And I was like, I immediately went to Sakura. I immediately went to Sakura, and I was like, hey, these people reached out to me. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and he was like, okay, uh, uh, just ignore him, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, actually. And <laughs> I, I went through the interview process with this company. Oh, wow. And I wrote down everything they said. I wrote down everything that they said. <laughs> I asked them so many questions and I wrote down everything. And then I gave it to Zakata. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's just fun. He's like, I'm not going to fucking leave my company. <laughs> what, what do you want? What, what do you mean? What did you think that was? What do you, what do you think that was going to happen, man? <laughs> What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> That's really messed up, though. They reached out to me. 
they reached out to me, okay? That's really messed up, This though. wasn't like, oh, I'm going to reach out to other companies and try and find out more about them. This was, these people reached out to me, all right? <laughs> and I, listen, it would take a lot for me to leave Face Connect. It would take a lot. <laughs> if, they, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna offer me <laughs> the fucking world, basically, why would I leave? Yeah, exactly. I, I have things like perfect here. Exactly. I can live comfortably. I'm surrounded by wonderful coworkers. I have a community that I love. Like, why would she I, leave? Like contracts, great. Everything's great. Why would I leave? So, like, why the heck would they try to poach like, her? Of course, I'm gonna fucking dark on you if you try and fucking reach out to me, fucking idiot. <laughs> At least make me sign an NDA first, dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, thank you. Actual rodent team behavior, rabbit for real. They should have made me sign the fucking NDA, but they didn't. I've seen players like, is the company dead now? Uh, I won't give. I won't give any details. If so, can you confirm without narrowing it down? I'm not. I'm not narrowing it down. I'm not giving any details. Can't go to the go. Oh boy, great news! It's just been revealed. Big news. <laughs> Thank you. The, I got an offer from another company. Can I get a raise version versus? The, <laughs> I time and that got can some happen. Info on them, Chad. <laughs> and that is that is something that does happen in the VTuber community. Uh, I'm not a part of a company, so I probably wouldn't get scouted that way. But I have heard that some companies are less than scrupulous. They're very, very, very bad, and they do try to do these things. Pippa sounds like she's dying there. Someone tell the rabbit to get some damn sleep. I guess it was either Wachter or Mad Scientist Media. They have the most freaking scandals and are the most desperate to get next to any Kudo. Goes back to the drill core mines. And it says, someone in the comments suggested N Noah Talent. And you know Chinese MCN sounds like the kind of org that might try headhunting. Especially if the talent has popular clips on Billy Billy. So I can see that or other companies giving a, a, a go. Previous discussions about Noah Talents here. You have uh, the Matician owner, of course, uh, saying bad things about uh, certain people. Uh, you have Noah Talent is very questionable company, and EMV tubers wishing to join should reconsider their opinions, their options. Sai has joined Noah. That's what that's the rumor. But yeah, a lot of things are happening for a refresher, an overview of why MCN is a good thing when dealing with Billy Billy. Uh, Doki Bird will likely join Vispo, but not Vispo. If you're thinking of, she's gonna join an a intermediary, an MCN. So. The network deals with Billy Billy side. The network deals with the, ja the the Chinese government. You just deal with making content for that company, and they give you a cut of everything that's going on. And this person says <clears throat> the whole thing is that uh, Pippa's not going to be leaving, just like Pippa said. It's very hard to see Pippa leave Face Connect. She seems very happy with Face Connect, very happy with Sakana, very happy with the freedom that she's been giving. The another company is probably going to give her a lot of restrictions, and it's probably not going to be good for her overall. Also possible that Face Connect could go out of business somehow. Don't see that, but you know that's the only reason that maybe that she would be leaving if Face Connect went out of business. Don't think the Hollow Live would try to poach Pippa. Hollow Live is not that type of a company. Uh, it would have to be like a Wachter or a Usabit or any of those type of ones that are maybe not around anymore. The ones that are you know smaller would probably try to poach, but that's still just a very very s thing. And of course you could sue when they try to poach. So <clears throat> the thing is that. Uh, Fishman Sakana could try to sue any organization that tries to poach their talent if they wanted to. If they wanted to go hard on that, they could do that because it's like interfering with business and that type of thing. So this is this is a big, big uh, drama thing that happened. But luckily, you know, Pippa's very happy. Everyone seems very happy at FaZe. I don't think anyone's going to be leaving FaZe anytime soon. A short meme break for with Rosamie because Rosamie is amazing in what she does. She's one of the people that um, if I would support if Nidhi Sanji was in such a bad company. You know what I mean? But here she is playing GTA and doing a little bit of a gangster stuff. Oh God, she has fucking music. God damn it. All right, so I'm gonna have to, she's like, she's doing a little bit, of, a bit of like bobbing and, bo oh, she's doing the gangster stuff. I can't actually put the music, unfortunately, but she's doing it, like, she's doing her gangster stuff. <laughs> that is cute. That is cute as hell. Okay, look, you can have it. You can have your dislikes for, for, for Nidhi Sanji. But the Rosamine thing is funny. She's turning the music all the way up and she's bumping to it. I can't play it, of course, because this is actually copywritten music. But it's like, <laughs> she's having fun. I love that. I love that. You can take a look at it. Of course, it's on VTuber memes. It's on things like that. She's bumping to it and she's doing her stuff. So, yeah, it's it's good stuff. I mean, I like it when Rosamine and others can have fun with their, their things like that. It's very cute. She's a real one. President of Niji Say So. Rosamine is disgustingly adorable. She's so cute, vibing to the song with the 3D model. 
The small pink girl in EGN always melts my heart and their cuteness. Unfortunately, of course, she's part of Nidhi Sanji, but she's adorable. She's honestly one of the people that I would support, along with Scarla, you know, I, I, uh, other people like that. But unfortunately, you can't support them monetarily. You can watch them, you can watch clips of them, do that kind of stuff, you know, but um, support them if you want. But that's not something I'm going to do. But still, love that Rosemi had this. For all those who don't know, there is a guy out there who makes um, life-size, sometimes super life-size, like house-sized figures, like paper figures of uh, drawings or, or printouts or whatever you want to call it of many, many VTubers, a lot of them being Hololive. He made himself a Peko army. This mean force made a Peko army, preparing for war. Gave him an M16 and everything. <laughs> Dude has a lot of money, a lot of time, which isn't bad. If you are going to be using this to enjoy yourself, go right ahead. You know what I mean? If you're gonna use your money and your time to do something fun like this, then hell yeah, go ahead and do it. Look at all the Pekos though, that's amazing. I love little meme things like this, I love it. I absolutely love it. Pekora. Bro, where have you been? There's an Ian generation already. He knows. It's what he's been prepping for. It's part of me that sometimes wishes it's, it's, that I'm this insane. May I ask why? He wanted an army on the cheap. For the glory of Pekolandia. AK-74, she's holding it from two. Didn't expect to make a second Hololive post referencing GFL. But here we are. This girl's boss. How do we spend 12 million in color toner this month alone? Yeah, this person, holy crap. They are insane with their, with their freaking toner use and everything. Holy crap. That's a lot of money being used, but it's fun. All right, we have a little bit more information when it comes to Aurora Pantera. Uh, Saya Synchronicity it ha responded to, you know, these smell similar, similar cat. It's someone that had graduated, and apparently it is Sayu Okami. Before she was Saya Synchronicity, I believe. It's Sayu Okami's model mama or illustrator or one of those. It's someone that Sayu knows. This is a rumor, speculation, rumor, speculation. Just letting you guys know, rumor, speculation, that this is the person who's going to be voicing them. Uh, they are coming back and they are going to be a part of Hololive. If it is true, if it does come out to be true, it's going to be an amazing thing for Sayu. It's going to be an amazing thing for the model mama. It's going to be an amazing thing for any VTuber to be able to get, any female VTuber to be able to get into Hololive and have them be a part of a large uh, EN type of you know big bang that justice has become so of course wish the best for them very happy for sayu for having someone that they know that is able to get into hololive and be able to be a part of a big company hopefully you know they can collab at some point but it's hard with big companies but we'll see again congratulations to all the girls who are now a part of hollow justice that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you